I look so crusty, musty, and dusty right now. Good morning, guys. Today is Wednesday. I wanted to do something fun. I wanted to attempt to clean girl makeup with you guys, and I wanted to take my graduation pictures because I graduate from college, like, next two weeks i think and i don't have any graduation pictures like when i took my senior pictures for my high school graduation i didn't even like those i'm going to be trying to attempt to take my own graduation pictures with my phone and my tripod but like i also have lightroom and photoshop so if it looks bad i can just edit them you know but right now i am anything but clean girl so i'm gonna hop in the shower clean up a bit and then i'll come back and then try to do my makeup with you guys i'll show you my graduation dress later too and like my graduation gear i'm so excited to freaking graduate like i just want it to be summer already but like it's so cloudy today so i don't know how the pictures are gonna turn out but photoshop will fix everything i'm clean now pretty sure the first step to being a clean girl is actually being like physically clean so i'm glad i got that step out of the way i also just moisturized my face really quick with this lotion so that i could like have a nicer base for my makeup i'm still debating if i want to do like concealer or, like foundation but i think i'm just gonna go without it but i just want to make sure my skin is moisturized because my skin gets really dry no matter like the weather if it's hot if it's cold it's still gets super dry so i just moisturized really quick look at this breakage guys this little piece right here it's not even like me trying to cut curtain bangs or whatever it's literally breakage because i bleached my hair and like every time i comb my hair it breaks off and so it creates like a really bad little fringe but i'm gonna blow dry my hair and then hopefully start my makeup for my hair this has to be good enough i don't really want to do anything fancy with my hair because like even if i wanted to do something fancy with it i don't know how to do it anyways i tried to learn how to curl my hair freshman year of high school before homecoming but it just never worked out because my hair never has layers cut into it i definitely want to get like shorter layers cut into my hair like for the summer right now your girl doesn't have time or money to go get a nice haircut so this is what we're dealing with we also have this little fly away love that for me i'm gonna put on my graduation dress my graduation stole and then it's so cloudy outside but i'm gonna do this anyways and i don't want to eat anything before i do it because i feel like i'm just gonna be really bloated i'm gonna feel really bloated so it's 50 degrees wish me luck if i freeze out there call an ambulance look how gloomy this weather is there is nothing aesthetic about this weather so gloomy this is a tripod i'm gonna be using to take my graduation pictures this is actually the worst tripod i've ever bought it was actually from amazon and i bought this during quarantine because i thought i was gonna become a tiktok star and do tiktok dances so i bought this just to make tiktoks but then that obviously did not work out and so now i just have like a really crappy tripod don't recommend this for anyone link will not be linked in the description because it's so bad all right so here's my graduation dress i am so in love with this dress because it's so like stretchy and yet like looks really really flattering like i love the skirt like the little two skirt skirt details just so fun to move around in and i just love like the top the top is kind of like cami straps and i love like cami tank tops and it just looks like that and it's super comfortable to wear so stretchy fits perfectly i got this from shein actually and i'm pretty sure it was only like eight to ten bucks maybe it also has like these little clasps in the back i didn't even need to like unclasp it or anything to put this on because it's already so stretchy so i am 100 in love with this dress i feel like it is so like elegant yet cute, yet simple, yet fun, yet flirty, like you you get the vibe. And then I also have my graduation stole, which I'm gonna be taking pictures in. And yes, I'm graduating from University of Nebraska. Oh my gosh. Now this is a fit. Look at this. Can you say girl boss? I'm so excited. I also have my, my cap right here. I never look good in graduation caps. Like I don't know who can look good in a graduation cap because it's truly something. Oh, wow, the girl is a whole ass graduate amazing okay now it's time for the clean girl makeup portion of this video i feel like this video has been so freaking chaotic like i took a shower and that's it like i don't know why but my brain feels so scattered right now okay so i'm gonna be doing my brows i'm gonna be keeping it very simple i feel like i always keep my brows very simple i don't really have eyebrows to begin with and so i usually just like to draw them in fill the gaps yada 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 you guys get the point if you guys are also graduating this semester let me know when you guys are graduating because i'm graduating like may 14th i think and let me know what major you guys are graduating from i really want to throw like a graduation party then i also have really bad social anxiety that like no one would come to it because i don't know why but i have really bad social anxiety when it comes to throwing events and hosting events like that the last time I hosted like an event and I had a lot of fun doing it was like this random 4th of July party I threw with my cousins. And like I freaking love my cousins. They are my ride or dies. They are like family is everything. Blood is 
thicker than water very true statement they show up to everything that i have so i'm really grateful for them so with my brows i'm just kind of drawing them in like how i usually draw them in i know they look really straight but i like that straight eyebrow look and also like if i draw them too light to the point where like it looks natural in real life they don't show up in pictures and so i always get roasted for making my brows a little bit too dark in person but then i also noticed that like i have sweaty skin okay like my skin is always sweating and leaking you guys sound so gross it's always like sweating and so like most of my makeup tends to like come off by the end of the day anyway so like i found out that like if i apply my makeup really like heavier than i usually would it ends up looking better by the end of the night and so yeah my brows they get extra tlc because they really need it and i'm just gonna keep this makeup minimalistic simplistic so yeah i'm happy with how my brows look right now i really like it and now it's time to move on to possibly concealer i think i kind of want to conceal where i get really shiny or where my skin is a little more uneven i would say so i think i'm going to conceal my chin and then maybe like right here or right here just because it does get shiny so i'm just gonna use like the teeny tiniest bit of concealer because i just hate having a lot of makeup on my face it feels so heavy to have a lot of like concealer or blush or whatever because then i have to use makeup remover and i'm a very lazy girl so i like to keep everything as simple and as foolproof as possible so i'm just gonna dab just a tiny bit of concealer on my chin and then just like right here where i get shiny and also right here where i also get shiny and maybe on my forehead too so just like that and now i use my finger to blend it out I bought a makeup sponge one time to like do my makeup with but I can't figure out how to make it look good yet I finished the concealer part of my face I just patted it in with my fingers and I just want my skin to look as natural as possible and I want my skin to look like my skin you feel me okay so now I think I'm gonna be going in with some blush because I just want to finish up my face makeup I'll be going in with some cloud paint this is my ride or die I bought this like freshman year of college I'm pretty sure and I still Still have it because they give me a lot and i'm just gonna put it on my cheek like this and blend and hope that i don't nastily get it into my hair also wearing this white dress kind of gives me anxiety because i know like i'm gonna crave raisin canes in this dress and if i eat raisin canes in this dress it's gonna end up on the dress because it's completely white but raisin cane sauce i swear to god that stuff is made by angels like it's so good for no reason and also the sweet tea absolutely immaculate so grabbing some blush putting it on my face i want myself to look glowing to the gods like i want myself to look so beautiful and so healthy and so glowy okay i blended the blush a little bit too far down for this side but it's whatever it's whatever maybe a little bit on my nose as well because i just kind of like that look of having a cute little blushing nose or whatever and then just some more on my cheeks and I'm just hoping like it shows up and looks good in the photos. So yeah, that's what I got. I feel like I look pretty clean. I might do a little bit of eyeliner too, but like keep the eyeliner on the minimal side. So this is the eyeliner that I like to use. It's the Epic Ink Liner. I want to do the eyeliner off camera because my phone, it's kind of running out of storage. So I'm just going to do my eyeliner off camera to save storage too. My eyeliner is finished. One thing I don't like about my eyeliner though, is just the fact that like it drips and it leaks and it gets all over my hands. It's kind of a messy eyeliner. For my lips, I just went in with a little blur water. This is from 3CE. It looks really pigmented, but then it's supposed to be sheer. And I just added a little bit on my lips because I want my lips to like show up in the pictures. For some reason, my lips always look gray or like purple in the pics but then now finish off the clean girl look this is what we have so far to finish it off i'm going to be using this highlight it's the becca champagne pop highlight and i'm just gonna go in with a little bit of it and the tip of my nose because whatever it's cute you know the second be glowing can't really see it much here because the light is kind of bad and then i kind of want to like take my finger tap it just once and then just kind of put it on my cheekbones like this 
My clean girl makeup is complete. I added the finishing touches, which was just the highlights. This is the final look. I actually really like it. I do feel very clean, but I think that might just be because I took a shower. But this is a very cute look. Kind of like my everyday makeup look, it just, except I don't really wear highlight or like concealer every single day. But try it out if you guys want to. I think it's pretty minimalistic, very simple, which I like. It's like Glossier vibes, you know? So I'm gonna go take my graduation pictures now. I'll show you guys how they turned out at the end of this video. guys so much for watching me do clean girl makeup it was kind of chaotic for me but i'll see you guys on my next video subscribe like thumbs up comment down anything you guys want and i hope you guys have a great day